Hi, I'm Stephen Strait, you might know me from The Expanse, and here we are, I'm about to experience zero G for the first time for real. So here we are, I'm about to get the injection for anti-nausea medication before we get on the plane. Here we go, see what happens. So we're heading out to the plane. I'm so excited to, uh, to experience this for the first time. I've imagined it for so many years on the wires doing the show, but we're going to experience it in reality coming up. Um, I'm really excited to see what, what the difference is with my expectations all these years, but um, here we go. I'm really excited. You're gonna love this. It'll be really interesting to see if it's what you expect. I know, I know. I'm, I'm so curious myself. I think I, I assume it'll be a lot more comfortable than hanging by wires. I'm assuming. I hope so. I hope so. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I've never hung by wires, <laughs> right? so I can't really compare. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it 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 can be intense after a while, you know, especially with the suits because they're heavy and stuff, and you have to balance. It's all your kind of core making yeah. sure it looks effortless. So this is the plane you were you were training in yesterday. Yeah, yeah, is this yeah and today. So we've been in there twice now for That's flights. So amazing. It's incredible. Inside it's all kind of empty spaces with right. a few different nettings up to divide up the different scientists and us. Right. And the back there's a few seats. Amazing. And and what 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 was your experience like as opposed to what you expected? Is there well, was there I've, was there a difference? I've been in uh, zero G before actually. Oh you have um, in you the have. US. Oh okay. So with, a, with a plane there as a student and that was incredible as well. But yeah. you know while I might be getting slowly better at maneuvering in um, microgravity, yeah. um, my smile school just as big, right? It's still <laughs> like absolutely an incredible special experience. And Amazing. for us, not just for fun, but it's important that we learn some things too. And we are. So the first flight we did yesterday was more of a, um, a movement flight. So, you know, they had a sitting and crawling on the ceiling. Oh, wow. Running around like we're in a, um, like, you know, animals in a cage <laughs> or a fish tank and you know, all sorts of interesting things. And today was more workstation based. I see. With five different workstations. It was great. How cool! And and your and your background originally is, is a, a physicist, engineer. I studied physics and engineering at uni, but I've worked as an engineer for about 15 years now. Always in space. So Amazing. Love space. I worked on satellites, um, like landers, robotic missions, human spaceflight vehicles, um, and now. Um, as almost an astronaut oh, in a few days <laughs> when I graduate. Wow, you must be so thrilled. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a massive honor to be training here and with the ESA ASCANs as well and representing yeah. my country. And I hope that it all helps create more opportunity for Australians to get more involved in human space flight. It's, it's really great for science, for engineering, and for inspiring the next gen too. Absolutely. And, and are, are you the first Australian going to the station? Well, there's been uh, Australians in space before, but right. always representing other nations. And, I see. you know, they motivated me when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, I watched their missions and just loved it. But I guess what's different now is we now have a space agency. Right. And um, Australia's capabilities in space are growing. And so I'm the first person to get to wear this Australian flag on my shoulder representing our country officially. So, yeah, that's incredible. It's a dream come true. More than I could have hoped for. Oh, so amazing. Wild. And and uh, when, when, when you go, is it... Is there is there a particular area of, of study or, or science that you're 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 specializing in or looking forward to doing or learning about or? Well, basic astronaut training um, for all the astronaut candidates or yeah. ASCANs gets us all up to the same level in lots of different topics. So I see. We're not specialized in a sense, but of right. course I'd be honored to fly experiments from my country, yeah. Australia, and they've got great science in a lot of different areas like astronomy, life sciences, robotics. Right. Um, that would be a thrill. Um, and also, we've got a mission going to the moon uh, in the next year. So, yeah. you know, that's the next big step after that. It's so exciting. I mean, it, it's such a fascinating time in, in space travel and, and space yeah. industry. And it, it feels like there's, there's more of a, a, a collective will to get out there as in, you know, for the last couple of decades. I mean, since Apollo, it feels. Yeah, absolutely. I think last time when humanity went to the moon, it was of course, an achievement for the ages. Right. But now, going back, we're going back to the moon um, with more involvement. It's an international endeavor. You know, we'll be a team of astronauts from a team of nations that are involved in supporting that. And you know, we go there not just to visit the moon, and but to learn about Earth and learn about where we come from as life and what we can do next to explore. Yeah. And um, yeah, I really loved um, watching the expanse and seeing. <laughs> That, that shows vision for the future. Um, it helps, actually, I think, for a lot of astronauts to 
picture in their minds, you know, what, where did you situate yourself in space mentally when you watch shows like that? Oh, thank you. I feel more you. utopian rather than <laughs> right. dystopian. Right, we're keeping but, our fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, yeah, it was um, <laughs> incredible to watch that. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, it is, it's interesting that what you were saying though is that it's, when we go to space, we're a collective we, right? It's Absolutely. like, as opposed to having these kind of divisions that we have here on, on the planet, it is really a, a human endeavor. Yeah, a lot of astronauts, when they come back, they say, you know, you, you don't see borders. You don't see really uh, humanity as separate pockets of people, but as one. And on the space station, yeah. there's always lots of nationalities up there. And training here, right. there's lots of nationalities. We've got the ESA astronauts from many countries yeah. across Europe. The Japanese astronaut candidates are here, and right. I'm here. And you're all you know, united with a common passion for space. Yeah. And uh, it's a wonderful environment, actually. How, how cool. And so, so what was that transition like from working on technology that was going into space, like satellites and, and landers and things, to actually going yourself? It was, it was, was, was there something about that transition that surprised you? Or? Yeah, well, I would say that uh, yeah, I've loved working on space missions my yeah. whole career. It's, uh, I've got to work on some of the most exciting scientific missions and human exploration missions, but to be able to do it in a, in a way that I get to learn how to operate some of those things right. and also to, to use it as a platform to inspire the next generation of space explorers in a way that I wouldn't have been able to do um, previously is something I look forward to contributing to actually. Yeah. 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 yeah, the basic training is like really incredible. Like astronauts today are very different, I think, in profile from the original astronauts. Oh, interesting. Amazing for their time. Sure. Now uh, with the International Space Station. It's more like a long duration activity in space. Right. People have to be in a, like a can right. for many months getting along and doing science. Yes. So, like our training covers so many different topics. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We cover science, engineering, uh, operational activities like this and centrifuge and sure. um, hypoxia, hyperbaric training and scuba diving and foreign languages. Wow. And expeditions like winter and ocean survival. So, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's Fascinating. I mean, and I, I would assume, I guess, as, as we kind of continue to push out into space, there's going to be all even more kinds of astronauts because we'll need different different people to establish infrastructure on the moon or to Absolutely, like, you know, yeah. do all that kind of stuff, I mean, mining. Can, yeah, exactly. You know. Like today in my class, we're all from quite different backgrounds. There's doctors, neuroscientists, astro astrophysicists, wow. uh, various engineers, pilot. Um, so we're all ready from lots of different backgrounds, but we can be more diverse. And humanity will have to be to go further. That's fascinating. So fascinating. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled for you, and it's so exciting. And, Thank you. Yeah. Are you looking forward to your I, I, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. I'm, I'm so curious to, to see how it feels. And, you know, we, we spent so many years on wires kind of emulating that. I swore you were in one of these. You look really accurate. <laughs> we did our job right. Good. Good. <laughs> my, uh, my eyes anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be keen to see how you like it. Yeah. That's what you expect. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we sold it. I'm glad we sold it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm excited to go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Really excited. Did you sleep well? I did. I are did. you ready for some zero G? Can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be really exciting. I'm so looking forward to introducing this to you. It's oh. going to. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Let's go get them. All board. right. Let's do it.